Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all alright. I'm gonna do, I've got a really fun video for you today and I've literally got about an hour to get ready. So I might, this might be kind of rushed and I'm kind of stressed, but basically I'm going to see Lizzo. Where's all my shit? I am going to see Lizzo tonight with Club L London and I'm literally so excited. I love Lizzo and when I went to Coachella, obviously, Harry Styles bought Lizzo out weekend two and I went to weekend one um, and I'm not gonna lie I prefer Lizzo to Shania Twain so I was really upset that she didn't come out weekend one so I'm so excited for tonight and then to um before we're gonna go for some dinner at Kitten so I'm really really excited I've got my outfit ready actually I've got two options so I need to just figure out what I'm gonna feel what I'm feeling at the time when I'm gonna get ready but basically I'm rushing because I just was in Sheffield for a couple of hours because obviously mum has been in Miami with Chin so I hadn't seen her for about two weeks which is so rare because I literally go and see my mum like every like 10 days I will see my mum like I won't see her like this is probably the longest I've been apart so I just got the train to Sheffield saw Mary and mum I went for some nice lunch and she got me some cute presents from Miami, which I'll show you uh, later. But yeah, so I've literally just got back and I need to get ready. It's literally 25 past and the dinner's at quarter past five. So like I am rushed, but Club L has sent me a little package to my flat. Oh, it's just like loads of little products, like Pixie Woo stuff and there's some Mark Hill stuff in there. Oh, I'm excited, I'll go through that afterwards. Um, but yeah, I don't actually know, I only know Rachel Leary who's going tonight, I don't actually know any more of the girls, I don't know who's going to come, so I'm really excited to see, but I've been listening to Lizzo all week, you know, about them time, in a minute, I'm an inner, sentimental, men and women, can't boot up. But what a fun Saturday night, hey, it's literally pissing it down, and the restaurant we're going to is called Kitten and I believe I've never been before but I believe it's like sushi sushi Asian-y um but it's only in Deansgate Square which is literally a stone's throw away from where I live so I'm just gonna walk there with Rachel um but it's literally pissing it down so I'm gonna have to bring some sort of umbrella because I don't know if I'm even gonna wear heels I might just wear boots I need to know what the vibe is I don't know what anyone else is wearing I know we're all wearing Club L London dresses, but I don't know like footwear because I want to be comfy. Like I, I don't come in heels for a whole concert. Like, do you know what I mean? I've got two options tonight. One is like a little black dress with like cut. It's like got cap sleeves, but it's got like two cutouts here. It's actually really sexy, but I think it's more. When I tried it on, it was giving more like sexy date night, going to like dinner with like like on a date then like Lizzo, does that make sense? And then I had another option which was like this um, champagne silk skirt. So I need to find like a bralette or like a little crop top to go with that. Maybe I'll wear that with like a blazer or something. So those are my two options. And I think I'm leaning more towards the skirt just because I think the dress is more date night. Like, I don't know, what would Lizzo wear? I really don't know. So, that is a problem for me in about 20 minutes to decide. But I'm just gonna go in my Rare Beauty concealer, which I literally love. I love, I don't think I'll ever deviate from this product. Like it's just so creamy and so brightening. I don't know if I go a bit too hard with the concealer because I like to put it kind of all over my face. There we go. I was saying this to Maddie the other day, like, I wish one of us... Wait, where's my... I was saying this to Maddie the other day, I was like, I wish one of us was, like, a makeup artist or something and would just, like, do, like, eat, like, do the other's makeup because, oh, God, I would literally love that. Like, having my makeup done is probably one of, like, my favourite things. It's, like, such a treat when I get my makeup done. Like for birthdays or I got it done for the Brits last year and it was just such a treat that like I can't imagine being like Kylie Jenner and literally having an in-resident glam team. Like oh that would just make my entire life. 
because I like doing my own makeup, but when someone else does it for you, oh my god, wow. Literally, my face never looks better. I don't know what they do. They just have like a a different touch, and it, it's crazy. It's crazy. I don't know how I'm even going to have my hair tonight. I washed it this morning, so it's nice and clean. I went to a um, Beauty Works dinner at Firefly this week. If you've watched my weekly vlog, you would have seen. And they did my hair, and they put in some um, clipping extensions. But oh, I just, you know what? I just know myself, and I'm, I'm going to be rushing, and I'm going to be stressed. Because I don't even know what I'm going to actually wear yet. So I just think, then trying to clip in extensions... I'm just not going to do it, am I? I'm just not going to do it, but in an ideal world, I would. But yeah, I've started using this, like, it's like a milk cream concealer, but I just bought it in, like, the darker shade, and I've just been doing a little bit of cream contour with it, which I'm kind of actually liking at the moment. And then I'll use this, and then I'll go in with the Chanel Tendre Soleil bronzer, just to carve out my face a little bit. I picked this up in Space NK actually when I went. It, it always looks so scary on camera. Like that looks so crazy, but in this, in this, um, in the mirror, it doesn't even look that crazy. Just need to blend it out. Like, why does that look so crazy? Anyway, let's talk summer plans because literally the only thing getting me through the library days. Is the, is the prospect of summer and I'm literally so excited but basically I it's official I'm not going to Coachella this year which like like oh God, I just have no words like I I'm not gonna lie like last year when we went to LA and Coachella it was literally the best trip of my entire life I literally had the best time we all did like it was just so much fun like, I, I can't put into words how much fun we had and how, oh, like, how, oh, it was just the best trip ever and it just makes me so sad that I'm not going to go this year and I'm not going to have, like, another amazing trip like that with Sophia and Tinsia, like, to LA and Coachella. But, I mean, I'm, I'm, the uni's got to come first. Like, I am not the type of person that can... <laughs> I'm not the type of person that can just put things to the back of my mind and like enjoy myself. Like if I've got work to do, I've got to do it or I'm just going to get so stressed out. I just went to go and get my new powder. I'm trying out the Huda Beauty banana bread powder. Because I don't know where my Laura Mercier has gone. So it's just gone walk about. So I'm going to try this today. I'm very risky to try new products when I've got a big event like this. But I mean, I'm, I have high hopes for Huda. And I feel like she's going to pull through. Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. But yeah, uh, but just because Coachella weekend is two weeks before my dissertation. And I just think I'm going to need those two weeks. I'm going to need those two weeks. Like, I can't. I just, it's just not really possible. And even if I went and I had loads of work to do, like, I would be so stressed. I wouldn't enjoy myself. And it just, like, bring down the vibe of the trip. And I just don't want to do that. I just want to go and, like, have fun like and be carefree. So I'm sitting out this Coachella, which I'm sad. But, I mean, there's always next year. And best believe I will be going next year. Don't you worry about it. But, so, yeah, I'm just going to be sat at home, probably torturing myself because Chin and Soph are, like, already talking about, like, Coachella outfits. I'm already planning it. And I just... I've just got to sit there and be like, it's okay. You go next year. You can go next year. Like, you got a degree to go. You got a degree. But yeah, this smells really nice. I need to get one of those, like, little powder puffs because the Beauty Blender's not doing it for me at the moment when I put powder on. Like, I need one of those, like, little... I need one of those little sponges. Anyway, summer plans I am going on. Me, Sophia and Chin were all going to Mykonos. That is confirmed. So basically, we've, we've got Harry Styles tickets one weekend in June. And then, like, a, and then like one day after, we're going to go to Mykonos and, like, make a whole trip of it. Which I'm really excited because I've literally only been to... I know, I've never been to Greece. I've never been to Greece. 
So I'm really excited for that. So that's a muh. That's like a defo. We're going to book that sometime next week. We found like a really nice um, hotel which has like a really big room for all three of us uh, to fit us all in. Because we just have so much stuff that we, we like need like a, a bigger room and like a flummy size room. Because we don't like splitting up into two rooms. And also it just makes it more expensive if we're in two rooms. And then one of us just gets left by themselves. Like even when we went to New York for my birthday, Kate Spade provided Sphere and Chin with two rooms. But we didn't even, like someone didn't even sleep in the other room because we all just wanted to sleep in the same room because we, we didn't want to leave the, one, of the, one of us out. So yeah, we will, we will never get two rooms on a trip. It's either one big room or we're not staying at that hotel basically. And then I've got Italy booked with the family. We're all going to go. Um, but yeah, there's a little bit of a dilemma about that. Because basically, with my graduation, they've said it falls like in these two weeks. And basically, I didn't see that. I didn't see that notice about when the graduation could be. Like, they haven't given a specific date. They've just said it can be in these two weeks. I didn't see that. Obviously, mum booked the holiday. And my graduation falls in those two weeks I'm supposed to be in Italy. So it, it's really stressful and I'm just waiting for them to release like the actual date of the graduation because we might have to push the holiday back or forwards like wherever it lies. Because if it's at the start of the holiday, then I'll, we'll push it, do you know what I mean? So I really effed up with that. And mum was like, why didn't you tell me? And I was like, I didn't know. I literally didn't know. But like, I've got to be back for my graduation. And mum was like, well, I missed my graduation. I was like, mum, please be for real with me here. You really think I've gone through three years of this, had one year in lockdown, one year living in Fallowfield, which was absolutely horrible, except for the people, um, just like the location. You really think I've gone through all of that to not grad to not actually go to my graduation? You're having a joke. Like, you're having a joke. I'm not, like, there's no way I'm not going. There's no way I'm not going. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the plan with that. So just gotta wait and see when the graduation is. But I'm so excited. Me and Maddie are gonna have, like, a joint family celebration in Manchester. I think we're gonna have, like, a big dinner um, with both the families. Both the families, and I think Liv and then Sophia will also come. Not that I've invited either of them yet, but because Olivia is a friend of both of ours, and Sophia is like my sister, I think we'll do it like that. And then Maddie's family and my core family, I think we'll just do it like that. So, and that'll be in Manchester sometime. So I'm excited. Like, it feels weird to say I'm graduating. It, it feels like every year I've lived a completely different life and I've been a completely different person. Like stringing the three years together is impossible for me like because they've been so different and I've had so many different experiences it's crazy it's crazy to think that I am finishing I really don't want to I wish I had another year I would do anything to have another year I really would like I would just do anything to have another year but we've got to move on sometime that's so sad to say um okay I'm kind of on schedule I'm kind of on schedule. And then I think I want to go somewhere for my birthday again. Like I went to New York last year. I think we're going to do New York again. And then mum and Chin have a new obsession with Miami because they went, obviously they've just literally come back. And I love my mum because at, di at lunch, that's like all she spoke about. She's like, and the first night we went here and I had this and she had this and it cost this much and this is what the restaurant looked like. Like I got a detailed review of each restaurant each day and I was like, I love it. I was like, she, they literally had the best time and mum was like, you would love it so much. Like you have to go, you have to go. Like she's such a Miami stan now, which I love um, because I've never been. Um, I would love to go. So maybe we'll go New York and then Miami because it's on the same, what's that word called? It's on the same, same time zone because it's actually above each other. And the flight, I don't think the flight's that long actually. So maybe we'll, um, we'll do a two in one, which we've never done before on a trip. Like we've never had a trip where we've like moved places ever. So that could be fun. That could be different. For my 23rd birthday, shaking my ass on a yacht in Miami. 
Where's my blusher? I want to do something more on my eyes, but I'm just rushing. Like, I'm just stressed. I'm just stressed. And this literal makeup's got to last all night. I'm using my Dior blush, which I stole off Chintzia. Um, and it's kind of hitting pan. I love going to Chintzia's because I'll just steal all her makeup. I don't think that's really showing up. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I said in the last video that I've got a new mascara that I'm absolutely in love with, and it's the Fenty Beauty one. And it's insane. I wanna put false eyelashes on. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna quickly do it. I think for Lizzo, she deserves some falsies. This mascara is really the one. I actually might be ready on time. Oh, my back. Oh, my back. Oh, oh sitting in this position is killing on my back. Beautiful. I want to do something more on my eyes. I just don't have time. I don't have the capacity. I think I'll probably just do a little wing. Alex Earl has taught me to do my eyeliner after I've done my mascara and for someone that's like kind of bad at eyeliner because I have hooded eyes it, it makes it hard to like see like where the eyeliner should go because I have hooded eyes so putting the mascara on really helps to see like the natural like pull of my eye and like where it's gonna go so yeah thanks to Alex for that love you queen Oh, and Liv just sent me this really this video of Lizzo. So obviously she's actually in Manchester right now, which I kind of it's kind of funny. Like you know when a like celeb or like singer is performing in like Manchester or Nottingham, whatever, and you're like that, and you're, it's like the day of the concert. I'm like that person is literally just roaming around Manchester right now, and Lizzo is literally just like in Manchester. Like I just I find it so bizarre that Lizzo is literally sat in Manchester right now. But she just did a video from her hotel room and she like ordered from somewhere called like Google's or Gobbles or something like that. It looked like a sandwich shop um, and the sandwich she had was insane. I thought, why have I never seen this sandwich shop before? It was insane. So I'm going to have to go there. But I just love to know that like Lizzo's literally sat somewhere like eating sandwiches before her performance in Manchester. I just find it so funny. Like imagine if you just saw Lizzo. Imagine if you didn't know there was a Lizzo concert on tonight and you literally just saw Lizzo. Like, that would be the funniest thing. That would be so funny. Yeah, and then I might just do a little bit, you know, just like there in the inner corner. Because Alex L does that and she's now my role model. But it kind of tickles and it makes my eye water. My makeup's pretty much done. I'm just going to run something through my eyebrows. I need my eyebrows waxing so bad. They're so out of shape. I should have done them last night, to be fair. But I was lazy with it. I just put something in them. Spray. I use the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush. Setting spray. Oh shit, I'm doing lips. Oh, I was going to put eyelashes on. Maybe I'll just put that on when I'm running out the door. Because that, that's not essential right now. I literally lose all my lip liners because I scatter them in bags. But this is Honeymoon by Morphe. This is my ride or die lip liner. It's such a gorgeous like nude shade. And I'll just put some lip gloss on with it. Um, but let me just I need to sharpen in. Beautiful. I don't fill in like all the lips because I kind of just fill in like the top of it and then I'll like smudge it in with the lip liner but I mean smudge it in with the lip gloss but where the fuck is my lip gloss that's what I want to know oh I have a bit of Vaseline I'll just pop that on for now before just so my lips don't look that weird great perfect makeup's done right okay it's 10 to <sighs> I'm getting stressed. I'm getting stressed. It's fine. It's fine. I need to find this outfit. And I need to figure out if I'm going to wear the dress or the skirt. Because of the skirt, I don't have a top for. So I need to then find a top if I want to wear the skirt. I can't even think of what would go with it. So I'm kind of sure I'm not going to lie. Okay, this was the first option 
for tonight. It's like this silk skirt with a slit in it. But I kind of, I put it on, I kind of, I was like, you know what? I kind of felt it was more summer vibes, but I have gone for this outfit. I've gone for this outfit, which I think is really cute. It's obviously from Club L, and I just thought that it makes the girlies look so good. I didn't like... It just really accentuates. But can you see how I thought this was more like of a date night dress than like a Lizzo dress? Does that makes sense? Like, imagine if that was your view from across the table. Like, he, I don't think he'd be complaining. Um, but I was gonna do a black blazer with it, but I'm gonna pair it with my big jacket. This is from ASOS, and I've literally been living in it at the moment. I just think it's perfect for all occasions, and it's perfect for this like transition from. Like, not, it's not spring because it's literally snowing outside, but like more of like a, just like a lighter jacket. So I've gone for this, but I think this is cute. Like it's giving like, do you know what I mean? I just paired it with these hoops. Those like really chunky ones. And these are from POT, but I think they're like giving like Bottega dupe. Like look. So I've got them in. Not that you can really see them because of my hair, but they're just, they're just there for decoration. Do you know? But I'm going to take my small camera along to the concert and for dinner because i'm so excited and i'm running late and i just facetimed rachel and i think i've got to be downstairs in literally about five minutes so i'm gonna go but i will see you at kitten which i've never been before so i'm really excited and then bag of the night is this prada one i wanted to wear my silver one i just can't fucking find it i feel like i've left it in the car or something because i deep cleaned my flat the other day and i i didn't find it so I'd bring my Dior, but this can just fit more in it, especially if I'm bringing the vlog camera. It doesn't really match. But I think it bug. I've got you on my small camera, but I'm on my way. I've had about a couple nip slips in the flats, but we're going positive. It's fine. It's fine. But I'm really feeling really cute tonight. I'm actually really excited, and I'm going to meet Rachel in the lobby. So, and then we're going to walk over and go and have some food because... I'm starving and I've never been to Kitten so I'm really excited. It's about damn time. Yeah. Um, okay, we've just come back to Kitten and it's so cute here. I've literally never been here before. But like look at it down there. It's so cute. And this is the menu for tonight. I'll show you. We've just had edamame and then the sushi rolls are coming out now. But that is I think that is a tuna spicy roll down there and I want a bit. No, I want to try this. Got Rachel Lara here. See my dates for the evening. So cute, girl. All right, we've got a salmon roll. All the sushi is literally insane. And this looks literally to die for. We're walking. We're walking to our Uber. We're literally in the pouring rain right now. This is Bye. Manchester for you. We're going to Lizzo. Bye. Um, we're on our way to Lizzo, and I'm literally so excited. Oh, yeah. Bye. 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 My dress is literally burning up. Oh my god. Okay, we are on the, the way. We're waiting oh. for our Uber. We've got Rachel, Lara, Sophie. We're so excited. Favorite Lizzo song. Favorite Lizzo song. It's a matter of time. It's a matter of time. It's a matter of time. Okay, we've arrived at Lizzo. This place is huge. You have access to clothing like this. Here we go. We've got these. How cute are these? T-T-Y. I'm at there. Are you ready to get giddy? Are you ready to get giddy? 